Hey YouTube, Free California here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the AR Maglock, which is a device you can use to make your rifle a non quote unquote assault rifle here in California. Uh, it has a nice little small convenient package that has instructions and everything you'll need inside uh, to get everything done, minus the takedown pin, which you'll probably need an additional wrench. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open and get started here. And everything's located in one small bag, all the parts that you'll need. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the bag. Okay, so the first thing I have here is the rear takedown pin and a ring to go through that. That way, when you replace it, you can easily take down the rifle to release the magazine. And the next couple of pieces we have over here are the replacement magazine catch spring, uh, a small screw, and the magazine release plate there. And then we also have a uh, small Allen wrench. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is go ahead and you wanna clear your weapon. I'm gonna send the bolt home here. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the upper receiver entirely. Uh, it has no reason to be on the rifle during this point. It just kinda could get in your way. So just go ahead and set it aside. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take some, for me, in my case, tweezers, and remove our bullet button. Uh, they actually have tools that fit in the grooves just fine, but I use the tweezers, and it, I've had no problem with that. So you're just going to go ahead and remove the screw and uh, take out your bullet button. Okay, and then everything bails just fall right out. And you can see there, there's nothing there. And then we can go ahead and start the insertion of our new AR maglock. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our main portion of our AR maglock and we're going to take our spring and just slide it right over the post here. And then we're going to go ahead and insert that into the rifle. Sorry, it's a little blurry here. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and push it all the way through. Just kind of had to work it a little bit in order to, to get it to come through. Okay, then once we have it through, we're going to go ahead and take the actual catch plate and we're going to lay that on there with the part that's milled out there for the screw head to set in facing up towards you. And once again, sorry, the focus went out on this guy. Okay, here we go. So now you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. So you're just going to lay that right on there while continuing to hold the pressure on the magazine release. And then we're going to go ahead and take our small screw and we're going to go ahead and just start threading that into there. And then take the small Allen wrench that was provided and we're going to go ahead and tighten that into place. And then just go ahead and wrench it down just a tiny bit. Just make it sure it's nice and snug. Okay, so that's the actual installation of the actual AR maglock. It's super easy and only takes just a minute to actually do. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate to you real quick how this works before we take do the rear takedown pin. So I just have an empty 10 round magazine. I'm going to go ahead and insert to the rifle. Alright, there we go. Okay, and then as you see here, I can press on the mag release all day long and nothing's going to happen as long as the rifle is assembled. So what you have to do is pop the rear takedown pin and then slightly tilt the upper receiver up and then you can press your magazine release just like a normal mag release and as soon as you close it you can put another one back in and then you'll be ready to get back to shooting but as you can see you cannot press the magazine release with the rifle fully assembled you do have to rise your upper just a little bit and then your magazine will pop out. Okay, so for this portion, you're going to go ahead and get your AR's armor's wrench. We just have to loosen this nut here on the back, which will allow the slate to, plate to slide back and our spring to come out. And then we just need to move our detent back a little bit, and then the rear takedown pin will come right out. So just go ahead and put it on here, and we're going to loosen it. Just apply a little bit of force. And then we're just going to go ahead and unthread it. 
and you can see the springs pushing out this plate here. And you don't have to take this all the way off either, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so you can see there the springs holding the plate out there. I'm just going to go ahead and work it back a little bit more. And then just going to go ahead and pop the spring up over the top here. Okay. So then I'm just you know, trying to jiggle here, but the pin is still in place. So I just go ahead and smack it down, and that's enough to get the detent pin out. Or not out, but back towards the rear there, so I have enough room to slide it out. So I'm going to go ahead and take the new pin, and I'm just going to slide it right into place. With the slot in the, facing the rear for the detent to go back into. Then I'm just going to stick the spring back down and go ahead and push the plate forward. And then just go ahead and first I'm just going to finger tighten this nut here to hold everything in place. Then I'm just going to take my wrench and I'm just going to put a, a light torque on it. I'll actually come back and torque it after the video to proper specs. So as you can see there, we have the little hole for the ring to slip your th finger through to make it easy to pull the rear takedown pin out. Uh, it is just slightly awkward to get on, but once you get it started, it's nice and easy. So there you go. Now we got it in. Now we're ready to go. So I'll go ahead and assemble the rifle here and then I'll show you guys how it works in conjunction with the AR mag lock to make things a little bit easier. So one nice thing about the system too is you can insert a magazine when the, the top is closed where I've heard in other systems you cannot actually do that. So you're going to shoot bang bang and then click you're out of ammo. The only difference here is the bolt will be locked back to the rear. So first thing you do is send the bolt home and then you're going to go ahead and pull your rear pin and then press the mag release and then close the rifle, press the pin back in place, swap in a new magazine, rack the bolt and you're ready to go. So it's really a pretty intuitive system. Uh, it's unfortunate that something like this is, has to be had, but if you're looking to get around the registration, this is a pretty cool way to do it. So what I'm going to do next is take you guys out to the range, and unfortunately, as you probably can tell already, I lost all my audio. Uh, I, I messed up one of the settings on my video camera, and so I missed it all. Um, but I'm going to take you out to the range, and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. We'll just do a couple quick field tests, and I'll tell you how I like it. Okay, so in this first video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take two shots with my rifle, and I then I'm going to use the pull lever and the AR mag lock to go ahead and drop the magazine and put in a new magazine and fire four more shots. So this will be a good, this will be my first test actually on the range with this AR mag lock system. So I'm going to charge around in and take my shots. Okay, and so you can see here I kind of forget that I need to send the bolt home before I pull the pin, which slowed me down a little bit. But you can also see how quick it actually is once you get moving. It's pretty decent, and then you just got to rack it around into the chamber and go ahead and can resume firing. So it went okay for the first run, so let's go ahead and try it again and see how we do on the second run. Okay, so on this run I'm going to go ahead and do a 4-4. Four and four. I'm going to shoot 4 shots and then use the AR maglock system and then put a new magazine in and fire four more shots. So this time you can already see how the whole process went a little bit smoother and I believe with the right amount of practice this really could become a pretty fluid motion. 
However, you could see there, I still did not fully see the magazine on the first tap, but I think it was acceptable. So let's go ahead and get, talk about this back in the shop a little bit more. Okay, so after a day on the range testing the AR Maglock, I really have to say that if you're not wanting to comply with registration and you know you want to keep your AR-15, but you also want to make it legal, uh, you know this is a great little way to effectively and simply do that while still keeping the rifle quite usable. Um, I feel like after enough training, you really could become extremely proficient in uh, changing out magazines using the AR Maglock. Um, I think it's ridiculous that you know this is where we're at, and you know I think I thought the bullet button was ridiculous. I think the AR Maglock is ridiculous in the sense that it has to be done. But you know I am thankful that there are people coming up with uh, ways to get around these ridiculous, ridiculous uh, tyrannical laws that are being passed and impressed upon our uh, Californians here. So. Uh, I definitely would recommend it though. I absolutely think uh, it is usable. It's of uh, good quality. Uh, and if this is something that you're looking to do uh, to avoid registration, then I absolutely would uh, recommend this as one of the alternatives uh, to, to go ahead and do that. So uh, I'd like to thank AR Maglock for sending this out for me to test. Um, I, I definitely think it's a quality product. So, uh, if this is something you're interested in, I'll put a link to their website in the description below. And I also invite you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. Uh, you know, leave any comments, tell me what you guys think about the AR Maglock. You know, is it something that you guys would do? Uh, or do you plan on going a different route uh, to get around these things? I'd also like to remind you guys about the giveaway that I'm doing that when I hit 1,000 subscribers, anybody who has commented on my leg up video slash kind of giveaway video, it's the video that came out right before this one. Uh, and if I'm over 1,000 subscribers, then the video the giveaway is closed, and I will annotate that on that video. But if you're not entered yet, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, go on that video, post a comment, and you have a chance to win an awesome CRKT knife. So. Go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link to that also right here. So at this time, I'd just like to say, God bless America, long live the Constitution, and thanks for watching.